Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. As y'all can see by the title, today I am coming on to talk to you all about my newest Dooney and Burt bag. Y'all, this bag right here, I absolutely love. I have none other than my sister, y'all, Candy Crusher to thank. Candy Crusher, y'all, is so bomb. She actually was on YouTube making videos, but she hasn't made any videos in a very long time. But that does not stop her, y'all, from being the biggest enabler ever. Let me tell y'all, Candy Crusher, she is such a big enabler. And y'all, she is so supportive. So if you all have recalled, then in the past, I have mentioned a few times that I really, really want Dooney and Burke to come back out with the hydrangea print with the cream background. I really wanted them to come out with a few bags in this whole print with the cream background so that I can get my hands on one because I slept on this print initially, y'all. Now, recently, Dooney and Burke have been dropping some gems on their website, y'all. And you really have to be watching the website because they do sneak them up on you. This one right here snuck up on me. But my sister, Candy Crusher, reached out to me and told me that Dooney and Burke had a couple of bags on the website with the hydrangea print, with the cream background. And when she sent me the pictures, y'all, my eyes just lit up. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> so this was actually one of the bags that was available. This is actually the large sack bag. And the other bag that was available was a tote. Now, I initially was gravitating towards the tote just because... I know that a tote bag would definitely work for me. But after going back and forth, y'all, I wanted to just give something else a try. So I ended up pulling the trigger on this bag right here. I had never really just did my research on it. So I didn't even really know what to expect, y'all. But let me tell y'all, when I unboxed this bag, took it out of the box, I immediately fell in love with it. I just had to go ahead and move on into this so bag. Now that y'all have heard the backstory on how this bag got into my collection, let's go ahead and talk about it. So as I had mentioned earlier, this is the large sack bag and this beautiful hydrangea print with the monogram background as well as that cream color. And it just is absolutely stunning. As y'all can see, I did adorn this bag with my little Bath & Body Works charm here. I love this charm so much, y'all. And yes, it does make noise, but I love it. I just love it. I think it's so cute. I actually have my sanitizer there right there for easy access. And then here is the back of the bag. Other side. Oop. And this bag does come with the DB um, signature little charms here. And I did leave those on as well. Okay, here is the bottom of the bag. And it does have feet. And I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I was a little on the nervous side. Because as y'all know, the last few bags that I have gotten from Dunia and Burke have had some imperfections. So I was nervous about this one. But I am so glad and happy to report that this bag is, like, perfect, y'all. This bag is flawless. Like, this is what I am used to when it comes to Dunia and Burke and their quality. Now, you guys probably noticed when I was doing the little spinning around that this bag... I have actually attached this strap to. This strap did not come with the bag, y'all. Um, The strap that came with the bag, let me go and get it here. Okay, so this is the strap that actually came with the bag. And Dooney did it right, y'all. Dooney did it right. Like, we have just been talking about how they need to make more bags with the um wide straps here like this. And th they did not disappoint. They did not disappoint. Now, I did take the strap off of this bag, though, because I wanted to really just give it another look. So, I ended up taking my strap from my Michael Kors Morella tote and adding it to this bag because I thought that the pop of pink right here was so nice. And I wanted to make it a little bit longer, so that's why I ended up um, adding on this web strap instead. And it just worked, y'all, as y'all can see, like... The pink goes so nicely with the hydrangeas on here. I think that's so gorgeous. So, so pretty. 
that's it to this strap. I'll leave the dimensions on the screen and I'll also go ahead and insert a photo so that you all can see or a video so that you all can see how this strap looks on my frame because it is really nice. I like it. I just wouldn't wear it with this bag because I don't like how high up it sits on me when I have this. But this strap is not going to go to waste, y'all. No, it's not. I was actually playing around in my collection and realized that this strap would actually go really good with my jade satchel. So I'll pop in a picture so that you all can see how this strap is just spot on with that trimming. So yes, that is what I'll be using this strap for. But again, thank you, Dooney. Thank you for giving us this strap because we need more straps like this. And not to mention it is removable. I love it. I love it. We like options. <laughs> As you all can see too, this bag does come with this zip closure here on the front. This pocket, y'all, is so spacious. Like, no lie, I'm able to put my hand pretty much down in the pocket. And the pocket goes like right here. And it goes from like here almost to the length of the front of the bag. Yeah, it's very, very roomy. So I really love that. I just feel like this is a bag that I was really sleeping on. Like, I could not believe, y'all, that I had been sleeping on this bag. And I was talking with my tribe sister, Keisha, and just telling her that this bag definitely gives me the vibe of the Camden Hobo. But it's more of um, a Monica-friendly handbag. <laughs> If y'all have been watching me for a while, y'all know I tried the large Camden Hobo, but that baby is just huge. It, it was just too, too big for me. So, yeah, y'all. Enough chatting. I want to go ahead and show you all what I have in this bag because she even carried very nicely. Like, I was able to fit all of my items in here comfortably, and she just worked for me. Like, ugh, I just can't get enough, y'all. I'm just so excited. So, so excited. So to go ahead and get on into the pocket here, I pretty much had things that I would reach for a lot. So the first thing that I had in here was my Chanel card case. So easy access. And I want to point something out to y'all. With this card case, I have been making it my business to make sure that I have this right in front of there. That way, as I'm walking by, no one can try to steal my information. So this is an RFID for a blocking card. And I just keep it right in the front slot there, like so. And I'll leave a link below for it too, because I did pick that up from Amazon. But yeah, that is what I had there. And then for my mirror, y'all, I ended up using this little cute mirror here. I thought that it was like so pretty with the hydrangea. Like, <sighs> it's gonna be hard for me to get through this video, y'all, without just going crazy, because all of the pinks, all of the pinks just make me so happy. <laughs> But yes, I ended up using this mirror here and just put it right there in the front of the bag. And then I also had my Biosense uh, Vegan Lip Balm. Absolutely love this stuff. I had my wet one. I did have another wet one in here, but I did use up one. And then I have um, lens wipes. So that's pretty much everything, y'all, that I had in the front pocket. And I do want to show you all how it does have like that... A cream interior which I just love yeah it's just so so beautiful so moving on into the inside of the bag y'all this inside one thing also that I love about this bag is when I unzip it and look down in here y'all my hands is greeted by this gorgeous suede so I want to show y'all this do y'all see the suede like how gorgeous is this Oh, it is so, so nice. I know that this is not going to be my last bag from this style. I have to get my hands on another one. I just have Let me show you all the inside before I start pulling things out. So that is pretty much how everything is looking. I guess I'll go ahead and start with the pockets. And once I take everything out, I will show you all more of the inside of the bag. But in the first pocket, I did actually put my uh, Gingham Gorgeous uh, body cream in there. And it fit right in the pocket. And then I think that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only thing I had in one pocket. In the other pocket, I had this little coach pouch here. Again, more pink. Oh, I'm just so loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> this added that's like my little manicure pouch. So I had my um, OPI nail uh, file in there, my clippers, and then I had my OPI 
nail glue, which I did not need in the bag because I don't have any nails on nails on right now. Um, and then I have my little um, tweezers. So that's pretty much everything that I had in there, y'all, just to kind of keep everything together. Okay, and then the next thing that I had in the pocket was my coin purse. And this little coin purse is the reason why I fell so hard for the hydrangea with the cream background. This is actually acting as my little key holder. So I actually just have my car key as well as my house keys on the inside. And that's mainly what I use this for, y'all. Um, the coin purses, it's just to hold my keys. Um, oops, and it's kind of stuck there. There we go. But yeah, love this. And as y'all can see, it is a matching piece to the bag. Oh, I love it. Now, I won't even be mad if they bring back more accessories. If they bring back more accessories, then I'll just keep adding it to my little hydrangea collection because it's just so good. Um, I don't really need a wallet, but I really wouldn't mind it if they did bring back more wallets. But y'all, the wallet that I ended up using just made me smile. Like when I put this wallet against this bag, I was like, Yes, that is it. <laughs> so the wallet that I ended up using is my Michael Kors Adele wallet. This wallet I actually purchased to go with my Morella toe in the color carnation. And look at this, y'all. Like, it goes so nicely with this bag. I think it's just so, so gorgeous. A very, very nice touch. And I won't show you all the inside because I kind of have it stuffed. But it does have um, double zips right here. And then a snap closure. And um, when it when it comes to the inside, it actually has, let's see. I might be able to show y'all. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. So it has six card slots and then it has an ID slot. And then it has a little slip pocket here, which within this pocket, am I holding anything in here? Yes, okay. Our little play cards, Dave and Buster, Chuck E. Cheese. That's all over there. And then on the other side, see if I can snap it back. There we go. On the other side, um, it has two slip pockets. And I'm just holding like receipts there, y'all. And then there's even, oh, something fell. There's even like, oh, I'm dropping all the cards. <laughs> there's even like a little slip here. So if you wanted to put like cash there, you could do that as well. But I don't have anything there. And yeah, this this wristlet uh, wallet is my favorite from Michael Kors. I really like this style. The thing that I had in here, y'all, was my Gingham Gorgeous Body Mist. Very, very nice. I love that scent so much, y'all. That is some really good stuff. Um, the next thing that I had in here was my sunglasses. And I did put them in this Michael Kors case. This thing is so old, y'all. Like, I've had this case for like eight years at least. <laughs> But I just have my MCM sunglasses in here that I just absolutely love, along with my little cleaning cloth. And then the next thing that I had in here is this little Ipsy pouch. I actually was gifted this by Miss Phoebe. And I am actually using this to hold like my candy. So I have like Trident gum. I have some Crystal Light. I have some high shoes, orange candy, and I have like some cough drops, sore throat drops. That's pretty much all that I have in here. I don't have it filled. I did have my um, trail mitts in here, but I did eat those up. And then I have another one in here too, y'all. And this one I actually got in one of my Etsy subscriptions. So this is actually acting as like my little makeup um, pouch. And within here, I just have all of my tried and true items that I always have in my bag. Um, first up is my little ink pen. Oh, the pink, the pink. I just can't get enough. <laughs> I have my Lysol, my Tide to Go pen, my Ilia eyeliner, my Idol Lacombe mascara. I have my little sunscreen in here. Uh, let's see if I can put some of this down. I don't want to lose anything. Okay. I have my Benefit Brow Cosmetic Pencil along with my Brow Shaper. I don't like this. Like, every time I'm done, like, um, shaping my eyebrows, they, like, I don't know. 
don't know if it's too sharp or what, but yeah, it ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> Um, I also have my Valentino Born in Roma little fragrance sample. I've just been carrying that around in my bags, and I, I need to just go ahead and use that up at this point. Um, I have this little floss pick. I also have the Gucci Bloom fragrance. I have my little For Real lip liner. Let's put the top back on here. We don't want any accidents. And then the last thing that I had in the back is my Juvia's Place Lippy. And this is in the shade Coco. I am not wearing the shade right now, though. I actually have on my MAC Ruby, Ruby Woo. But I did have that in my bag. All right. And so, moving on. On the Key Keeper, I have my pepper spray for easy access. And then I have my deodorant. So as you all can see, like this bag held everything that I needed need for it to hold. And it was just an awesome carry. I, I just love it. I love it so much. Um, here is my toilet tissue. And then I have my fan slash flashlight. And that's pretty much everything, y'all, that I had in the main compartment. This bag does also have a back slip pocket. So within there, I had this little pouch here that was holding my backup earrings, but I'm actually wearing them right now. And then I had my mask as well as um, Kleenex. And then this bag does come with a zipper pocket, y'all. And I pretty much just have my usual that I typically would put in a zipper pocket. And that is going to be like my little medicine container. I have my eye drops. I have toilet seat cover, feminine product, and then a host of medicine. So literally that's pretty much everything that I had in there. Oh, I have my soap sheets as well. So yeah, that's everything that I had in the back zip pocket. And I always have the registration card back there as well as the tag. So I'll actually go ahead and show you all this tag here too. Focus, there we go. So again, it says the large stack in the color cream. Now that I love this bag, I went online to see if I could see what others are available and there's not too much to choose from right now. I know that they do have it in like the sports prints. Um, there are some in pebble grain leather and then there's some in like the Greta print, but that's pretty much it. So I don't know. I don't know which one I would get next, but I definitely do want to get my hands on another one. Um, let me go ahead and show you all the interior. So up close, as you can see, it has the zip pocket and the slip pocket. And then here is the other side. And the pockets are very deep too, y'all, which is what I love, love, love. Like they are very, very deep. I could have definitely put more in the pockets if I wanted to. I like the opening on here too. It's not too bad for me. And then, of course, as you can see down in there, too, it does have the little key hook there, too. So, yeah, that is pretty much everything, y'all, that I had in my bag. I will also go ahead and insert a picture so that you all can see how my accessories look with this bag. And, yeah, that is that. I think that I am going to probably try to carry this bag a little bit longer before I move out of it. Um, I thought that I was, like, to the point where I was ready to pull out my fall bags. But, again, once Candy Crusher sent me this, I just knew that I needed to just put those bags on pause and just carry it. And just from looking at it, though, y'all, it actually goes pretty decent with my outfit. So, I probably could even get away with carrying this bag in the fall. Yeah, I think I, think I can get away with it. <laughs> But that is that, y'all. That completes this video. Let me know in the comments, too, if you own a large sack bag. And if you do, how do you like yours? I would love to know. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.